make landfall Monday or Tuesday just as the Republicans kick off their national convention. And it has a lot of folks talking about, well, Plan B. Both President Bush, Vice President Dick Cheney scheduled to speak Monday night. Back with me now, Fraser Seitel. He's a public relations expert, professor at NYU. You're the perfect guy to ask this question. Uh, from a public relations standpoint, this could be a disaster for Republicans. First of all, what, is, what does President Bush do? Well, uh, of course, Katrina was the worst blot on his record. Yeah, he got ripped anything. for it. He got ripped for it. You know, it's a terrible thing to say. But for John McCain and the Republicans, this could be a blessing in disguise. What do you mean? Because President Bush has got to speak on Monday. Then he's the president. Then if this thing, if Gustav uh, uh, kicks up, he's got to get out of town. And what McCain is running against, the Obama campaign is running on uh, against two words in initial, George W. Bush. Right. He gets out of town to man the presidential duties. McCain then has clear sound. Maybe this would be the perfect excuse for the president not to even show up. I, I mean, look, his approval ratings are abysmal. Yeah, I think, I think what you have to do is you, you, he's the president. He's got a record that he's got to stand on. And McCain's got to disassociate himself a little bit without severing ties. Yeah. The perfect excuse is to say, uh, you know, I'm giving my speech on Monday. Then I'm Oscar Mike, as the sure. Marines say, on the move, right. out of town. Right. All right, what about this? The, the big picture here. I mean, these are one big infotainment infomercial, these conventions. And, you know, people are cheering and they're celebrating and they're partying and they're having a good time. Juxtapose that picture, that image in the minds of the American public, the viewers, as they're simultaneously watching what could turn out to be, and we hope it is not, human devastation, disaster, and death. No, it's, it's a great point, Greg. And they've got to be cognizant in the remarks in the tone uh, to be much more somber than the Democrats were. But on the other hand, uh, you know, it's counterintuitive. We've got two governors, uh, Rick Perry in Texas and Bobby Jindal in, New in, New in, New in uh, Louisiana, Louisiana. Yeah. both of whom were supposed to speak, but they're on the job. In other words, the difference between Republicans uh -huh. and Democrats is our substance over their style. And, and real quickly, John McCain, what does he do? How does he handle it? John McCain handles it with deference. He states who he is. George Bush leaves town. I'm now in charge. Precious, I tell. As always, thanks. Thank you. See you.